It's not a fun time uh, in the market for buyers. Patrick Powers describes his real estate agency in Yarmouth as serving a niche market. Even still, he's seen the voracious demand in recent months. It's the first time in 25 years that as soon as I list one, it goes under contract. As owner of Powers Real Estate, he works from Kennebunk to Wiscasset and says the biggest challenge is not enough homes. It doesn't really matter if you're looking for a $150,000 house or a million five house. You know, the inventory just doesn't exist. The typical time spent on the market used to be around 75 days. Now, he says, it's often fewer than 15, and it's fueling a shift in where buyers are headed. I think that's why more people are looking at more rural counties and they're commuting longer because there are more houses available in some of those counties that haven't seen this kind of activity in the past. Tom Cole is the president of the Maine Realtors Association and a broker in Brunswick. He notes rural counties like Oxford, Piscataquis, Somerset, and Washington all saw double-digit growth in home sales from July of last year, while that number dropped in York, Cumberland, and other counties. Maine also saw a 5.5% increase in the number of out-of-state buyers closing in July. But Powers says they haven't seen the same geographic shifts. I personally am not seeing that in the marketplace. For his portfolio, the pandemic hasn't changed too much, but shifting trends statewide point to continued demand. We've seen peaks and valleys, but it's the first time that I've seen witness so many buyers looking for property that doesn't exist. And we spoke with one broker in Oxford County where those percentages had risen significantly in July who said that some listings are garnering up to 30 offers on a single home. It's a difficult time to be a buyer when so much competition is around you. That's why many folks going to those more rural counties. And once again, they emphasize that the inventory is still almost 40 percent lower across the state during the pandemic. But overall, what's incentivizing buyers is also those record low mortgage rates, which the Maine Realtors Association could increase affordability for some folks by up to 25 percent. Live in Cumberland, Joe Glauber, WMTW News 8.